in this video I demonstrate the application process as a new student so to apply uh, we have two options you can click on the apply button or just there as pictures will be scrolling there will be different pictures with different fields you can click on the one that says apply now or the one on top so once you apply click on apply you enter your email address so these are mandatory fields where the asterisk is shown Select the academic year and semester. Then you define the password that you want to be using for this account. Fill in the contact details. This is your phone number. Any employee details if it applies. And the postal address. And then you can also fill in the next of key details. that is done you click on create so it will give you your provisional ID you need to take note of this provisional ID then if you provided the correct email address an email is sent to you uh, with all this information so once that is done you now move to the main site and finish the application process so to do that you can click on the logo there so it brings you to the main site then you go on the portal you click on new applicants so remember the provisional id which was shown there needs to be entered there and the password which was created you enter the provisional id and the password was created so once you do that uh, you're logged into the applicant portal so inside the applicant portal you have all these tabs on your left and these are the steps so the first step is making a payment for the application form just so uh, there is a note on the online payment facility there's a service charge of 10 quarter for every payment so for undergraduates uh, the application form is 120 so plus a service charge that will be 130 then for postgraduate it's 150 plus a service charge 10 quarter so that makes it 
one CQST. To make payments, click on online payment. This redirects you to the PayBills platform. So under this, you're required to enter your mobile number. So this is a mobile number of the person who's making the payment, the account holder of the card. the amount then you also enter the ID so in this case you enter the provisional ID and here again it shows that the service charge is 10 quarter then you proceed the details are entered press proceed this processes the amount and then it gives you a summary so it will show the, the details for the one who's paying the payment then the total then it also shows that the amount includes a uh, service charge then once you do that you confirm the details you confirm the email that is linked to that account yeah then finally you select the mode of payment so if it's a visa card so the card number card number it's the when you when you check on your card there there's a 16 digit figure so you enter that Enter expiry date, then the CVN number is the number at the back of the card. And once you do that, you confirm, and the payment reflects directly into your applicant portal account. So now you log back into your applicant account so that's a provisional ID and the password which was created all right so you notice that step one is now clear so step two is to apply so you select the admission type so an undergraduate then you also select the program of your choice then also the mode of study so in this case it will be full time then you click apply okay so that is done then the third step is to upload passport size photo and the NRC and supporting documents
me select the file that has to be uploaded. So let's use that. Okay, so you'll notice it will show you that it only wants uh, those file formats. So those are picture file formats. So we'll go to pictures. And we'll choose any picture. We'll upload. So once you upload, it ticks it as an accepted format. Then upload an RC or passport. Here it specifies PDF only. So you go there and we'll choose a PDF file. Then we'll upload. So it ticks then for high school choose the same file upload then here if there are any other supporting documents PDF only as well so I'll look for a file and upload it so once that done everything is checked 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 you can go on account details to show all the information what you've registered for, or what you've applied for, rather. Then, when you go on application status, it will be showing pending. So once the application is successful, uh, you'll be notified by the school. You'll receive an email. You'll receive a call to notify you that you are successful. Then when you log into your, in your email, when you log into that uh, email, you notice that uh, your, your provision number will change to now your student number which you'll be using to log in into a portal and for all your student activities so using that student number uh, that you're given you can now uh, proceed and do semester registration you also notice that because uh, once your status changes you'll be required to log in with, uh, with a prefix. So in this case, your provisional ID is 20, 20 2, 4, So once you accepted in the email, it shows that you log in with a new student number. For this student, they had applied for public health. So the student number will be BSPH with, uh, with the number following. So when they can do that, they can now proceed to do semester registration. Once the student receives confirmation that they've been accepted, they can now go back to the main website. They click on online registration. So here the instructions for registration for retaining students and new students. So you click new student registration, enter the student number. So in this case, there is now a prefix. So it's BSPH 22417. So when you click here, it, it generates a quotation. So this quotation indicates uh, the fees. So in this case, it shows that's the total fees. So you can print this out because below we also have our bank details that can be used when making physical deposits. So once the student makes a payment of 50% uh, of the total, then registration can be complete. So we made the payment. So once the payment is received, confirmation is done. So for the payment can be done online and once that payment is done this part appears which allows the student to register 
put a summer stem. So this is upon verification that all the courses are correct and all other details are correct. If there are any queries, you contact academic corpus. So you click to register. So it will show you what you've registered for. And then you now can go ahead to create a student portal account.